This is a bowler squat. So when you're first starting this exercise, it's helpful to do it up against a wall. So Peter's standing about a foot away from the wall, and whatever leg is closest to the wall, that's the leg he's going to be using for this exercise. So what he's going to do is he's going to be reaching and tapping a point on the wall that's about knee height, a few feet in front of him. All right. So what he's going to do is he's going to shift his weight to his left foot here. He's going to take his right foot off the ground, squat down, and reach forward and across his body. Good. So as you do that, you should feel a little bit of stretch in the outside of your left hip or that leg that, that's staying planted on the ground, so that left glute. All right. So as he reaches across and squats down, he's not letting his chest round forward. He's keeping a flat back and a neutral neck. So let's see that here again. Shifts into that left hip. He squats down and reaches forward under control, comes back up. All right. So common mistakes I'll see here is people probably reach too far forward sometimes and they end up with their torso completely horizontal or even rounded forward. So you're not reaching as far forward as you can, just a few feet forward. Um, other mistakes I'll see are maybe too much extension even. They try to stay too upright. You should allow those ribs to come down in the front, brace that anterior core as you perform this exercise. So you perform this for the prescribed number of reps on one leg and switch over to the other leg. Now this isn't, isn't an exercise we're really going to load up with any weight. You might perform it with a weight vest, but usually it's just a dynamic warm-up exercise that we're just trying to get a good feel, get a stretch in the, the hip, and work on stability.